Okay, um, so we're back, and it is Thursday, and it is going to be another Sam and Max, and today it is Season 2, Episode 1, Ice Station Santa. So... Let us see about getting going here. And, well, that's a little loud for me. We tone this down. That's better. And let's uh, turn on the sound for you. And let us play a new game. I am not lost. I do know how to play this. Congratulations on another successful peace summit, Mr. President. Don't congratulate me! Congratulate the peacemaker! You crack me up, little brain salad in a blender, Mr. Spatula! He's been acting surly and withdrawn lately, even for a vice president. But I never thought it would come to this. Uh... His lust for power has twisted him into a mockery of the goldfish we once kind of loved. That insouciant fin-flapping, that glassy, malevolent stare, like a sociopath or a, a Fox newscaster. Mr. Spatula has become pure evil! Staging a coup, Spatula? Not on my watch! Eliminate him. You. Are. My. Idol. I didn't. Flint paper! Hiya, fellas. Hey, what's the rumpus? I'm in the middle of some sensitive PI business. And we respect your sensitivity. Is that mechanical goon one of yours? Secret side burns of Isaac Asimov. My name tries to thousand! Destroy Simon Max. Destroy Simon Max. That's who, Mainetron? That's what Mr. Spatula gets for sending a hitman with lousy aim. Max, what say we go down and administer a freelance police-style beatdown to that metal monstrosity? And then dance on its smoking carcass! It's that attention to detail that makes me glad you're still president, little buddy. Okay. Since I want it, uh, let's just go here and turn on the subtitles. Uh, because I didn't realize that they weren't on. And, uh, because I like being able to have you guys understand, let's, uh, no, start a new game again. Just run through that quickly again. It won't hurt anything. Congratulations on another successful peace summit, Mr. President. Don't congratulate me! Congratulate the peacemaker! You crack me up, little brain salad in a blender, Mr. Spatula! He's been acting surly and withdrawn lately, even for a vice president. But I never thought it would come to this. Uh... His lust for power has twisted him into a mockery of the goldfish we once kind of loved. That insouciant fin-flapping, that glassy, malevolent stare, like a sociopath or a, a Fox newscaster. Mr. Spatula has become pure evil! Staging a coup, Spatula? Not on my watch! Eliminate him. <coughs> you are my idol! I didn't. Flint paper! Hiya, fellas! Hey, what's the rumpus? I'm in the middle of some sensitive PI business. And we respect your sensitivity. Is that mechanical goon one of yours? Secret side burns of Isaac Asimov! I can try 9,000! Destroy Simon Max. Destroy Simon Max. That's who, Mainetron? That's what Mr. Spatula gets for sending a hit on a lousy aim. Max, what say we go down and administer a freelance police-style beatdown to that metal monstrosity? And then dance on his smoking carcass! It's that attention to detail that makes me glad you're still president, little buddy. Yeah, a bunch of them no, like it when they're subtitled, because you can still hear the things when they're, uh, they're crashing. Nice, my Max's outslide, and the one bullet. 
Okay, so let's go check the answering machine. Yeah, this is President M I mean, this is IP free. Do you have letter stick charmer in the closet? <laughs> then you should see a doctor about that. <laughs> no, wait. Let me start over. Actually, my calls only work when you call someone besides <laughs> us. This is the only phone number I can remember, Sam. I'm looking for Amanda Beaten Pummel. Wait. Ah, oh, never mind. Man to Beaten Pummel. Yeah, this is President. I mean, do you have. Okay. <laughs> Max, crank calls only. This is the only. Only two of them. Oh well. Um, let us go see what's in the closet, if anything. Oh. Uh, Jar of Bliss. A souvenir. Max eliminated you, Bliss. Uh, let's see what Leonard has to say. Keep up the good work, Leonard. Nothing. Former president's dismembered head. Collect all 43. <laughs> 43. Oh dear. Let's see what the world board has on it today. Pardoned? Have you been abusing your presidential powers again, Max? That depends on what your definition of abuse is. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the Playland and Casino explosion. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. Yeah, um... The nerve center of our entire crime-stopping operation. Let's see what the main problem has to say. Part the entire building! It's our Salvia Hispanica Brady Culture Head. Safe and fun gardening at home, with no threat of legal action due to trademark infringement. <laughs> oh, the bear head. Too bad it doesn't sing all the tune and tell you to do things anymore. It, it, it doesn't? <laughs> oh yes, the uh, voices in your head joke. Mariachi frogs, posed just as they appear in nature. Uh, let's see if he's home, I don't think he is. We never should have let that deadbeat Jimmy Two Teeth sublet. Uh-huh, so... I don't think it's gonna work, but we're gonna try shooting at the Mantron. Not even a dent. They just don't make bullets like they used. Banana. We should just accept we'll never teach that chimp to be a darts grandmaster. At least he's improving. Banana peels are a lot better than what he used to fling at it. Oh, the chimp. Let's go downstairs and see what we can find to do. What goes up must come down. Why you fools making all that damn racket? Just to tell you once again, who's He may be a mechanized engine of wanton destruction, but his taste in hideous middle of the road pop music is impeccable. I've lost that laughing feeling. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, Mr. Ginormous wind up toy of destruction, sir. Yes. I don't suppose you'd care to stop tearing apart our building. Hmm. In truth, it does not matter. I exist only as a mechanized engine for destruction. What I do is what I am, whether I care for it or not. Oh no, Sam. He's been to community college. It's trouble, all right. <laughs> That's you it. seem like a smart guy. For a robot. Can you explain something to us? There is no question you could have that I could not answer immediately. Shoot. Metaphorically. Ah. Uh. Uh. What if everything is an illusion and nothing exists? 
That theory was refuted by the ancient Australian philosopher Newton John, who said, let's get physical, physical, I want to get physical. It's all so complicated. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where do fools fall in love? Why do birds sing so gay, and lovers await the break of day? Uh, let's go. Wind up. So, what happens if we take the wind up key? What? You were trying to destroy us. And worse, you butchered every song I wish I'd forgotten. And another one bites. And another one bites. And another one bites. <laughs> I hope we didn't fall on anybody important. Better hurry down if we want to loot the body for spare parts. I call dibs on any delicious candy that might spill from his demolished innards! Okay, so... <laughs> okay... I have a question, Sam. How do you like me now, spatula? I'll ignore that question, Max. In order to say, look, holy knuckle cracking Kringles on a bullet train with a sack full of ketchup covered cheese logs. It does not say that. We were wrong about Mr. Spatula all along. What do you mean, we? This hitman wasn't sent by some lowly goldfish. It was sent from a bleak and desolate wasteland by the most ancient and powerful opponent we've ever faced. A hairy, bloated, pagan god. Santa Claus. Oh, I think I can shoot these. Yep. <coughs> I don't think I can get anything from shooting them, but... Well, here we are at the North Pole. When we find Santa, leave the talking to me. And the hasty trial, the harsh sentencing, and the immediate execution. Hold on. You can't be Santa's judge, jury, and executioner. Don't I get to do anything? What the hell are they doing here? <sighs> I don't know. Yeah... Oh, hey look, Max. It's the soda poppers. Again. I thought you'd all gotten taken out in the Great Dakotan Conflict. You must be relieved to see we made it! Right. Relieved. What are you doing here? We all got terrible presents from Santa! So we decided to come to the North Pole and return them. Better that than spending Christmas Eve with a shotgun aimed at the fireplace! Kids today have no respect for tradition, Sam. <laughs> the shotgun aimed at the fireplace being tradition. Uh, so... Why don't you go inside? We were on our way in when we heard some frightening noises coming from the workshop. It almost sounded like... Gunshots? Yeah, how did you guess? Sam, why am I the only one who associates Christmas with the sound of gunfire? Best not to think about it, Max. What did you get from Santa? A jar full of rhinoceros musk. Yes, another one. I got a see-through nighty. It's beautiful, but I don't have the hips for it. I'll trade you. Why? What did you get? Tuberculosis. <laughs> that's what I gave Sam last year. And that's why we no longer have secret Santa at the office. Secret Aren't Santa you guys governors people. of the Dakotas? We were, but that wasn't enough. So we annexed Nebraska. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a disagreement. With who? 2.5 million voters! They won! Are you going to run for re-election? No, now we're focused on environmental issues. We've got a new respect for nature <coughs> since we got kicked out of the governor's mansion! 
Will we stay with you guys? No. no. Okay. We should be going. Christmas isn't gonna save itself. <laughs> yeah, not like that snobby, self-sufficient St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> oh. Anthropomorphizing holidays. With the snowman. He's really let himself go. What's with the barbed wire? Oh, Santa's turned with barbed wire. Chocolate covered barbed wire. Wow, chocolate really does go well with everything. Santa's workshop, the second happiest place on earth. <coughs> Which, of course, makes me question what is the happiest place on earth? It's a topiary planted in a tiny clay pot. That's a topiary. That. <coughs> Sleigh. This must be Santa's sleigh. Where does he attach the flying reindeer? There's a boiler on the back. Whoa, tough break for the reindeer. The boiler runs on coal, I think. Just hope it doesn't run on reindeer. How are we doing on fuel? It's running low on coal. Okay, so... Chimney. Let's just have a look at the chimney. I don't think I can do anything about it right now. It's Santa's <coughs> chimney. Do you think he ever pops down his own chimney, delivering presents to himself? If he's been good that year, sure. Okay. This thing takes yellow snow and bleaches it into fresh sanitary snow. Wanna have a snowball fight? Not without industrial goggles, I don't. Okay, and I wanna see if there's anything it has to say about the watchtower. That searchlight <coughs> makes Santa's workshop feel like a prison. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. So we're agreed. We're getting one for our office, right? You bet! Oh dear, okay, inside we go! Ding dong! Justice calling! You've got to help us! He'll kill us all! Now, yeah, Max is harmless. Mostly. Not him! Santa! He forced us to make all those awful, hurtful toys. We don't know what's gotten into him. The snow will turn red with the blood of the not- The cartoons always made him seem a lot more jolly. Hey, my snowball melted. Okay, so- We're trying to I... talk to Santa. You know him? Oh, sure. He's the one who put me in charge here. Was that before or after he went crazy? I'm not sure. When someone offers me a promotion, I don't ask a lot of questions. Um... What is wrong with him? What happened to Santa? I don't know. But if you ask me, it was only a matter of time before he snapped. He's always been a little crazy. He has? Think about it! The man gives presents away for free! I always assumed he did it for the tax write-off. We want to talk to him. How do we talk to Santa? I don't think talking is going to do any good. All he wants to do is shoot everything. That's understandable. You gotta get his gun away from him or he's gonna make us do bad things. Where is everyone? Where are all the other elves? Santa fired them! To stay competitive with the other major holidays, we had to outsource our gift manufacturing. How'd the elves take it? They all got together and sang a farewell song! Aw, oh, that's sweet. You didn't hear the song. Let's just say it wasn't very Christmassy. <laughs> it's 
to who makes the toys. Who manufactures the toys now? It's all been moved off-site, so officially speaking, I have no idea. What about unofficially? Baby penguins. Baby penguins? Why on earth would you use baby penguins? The adults refuse to work without a health <laughs> plan. Oh, great. Do the baby penguins <laughs> do good work? Sure, if you don't mind toys that have a slightly fishy smell. Giving them or receiving them? You can use the gift tube over there and see for yourself. What's it like living at the North Pole? I wouldn't know. I commute. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Don't remind me. If we don't deal with Santa soon, we'll never make our shipping date. Hey, what's this one? We're trying to talk to Santa. You know him? Mind if I keep cowering? I'd encourage it. Just remember to cower with your legs, not your back. <laughs> Any idea why Santa went nuts? It's me. I'm the intern. I just came off the assembly line yesterday. Jumping jacks and half stacks of hat racks. Are you saying elves are made in factories? Because if you are, I want to place an order for six million. Also, tell my army they're fired. No, oh, I meant I was working in a factory. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. What did the factory make? Elves. So what happened to Santa? It's me. I'm the new guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... See anything you know? unusual lately? Well, this morning, I could have sworn I felt the presence of an unspeakable evil. Tell us more about this unspeakable evil. I'd rather not speak about it. Hey, Michael. So... So what do you do here? I'm supposed to make this tree grow. Oh. I'm crying. Christmas trees love elf tears. Heck, who doesn't? It makes them grow up big and fast. But I'm too darn happy. I'll never be able to cry. What a shame. It's enough to make you cry. I wish. Okay, so I've got to make Christmas. him cry. It sure is. I have, something, I have something to get him. It's a boxing Betty doll. The finest in remote control fisticuffs. Didn't the Mametron teach us anything about the dangers of playing with violent robots? Oh, I didn't learn anything. Good. I worry sometimes. And the world's simplest maze. It's the world's simplest maze. What's the big deal? All mazes are simple. Not everybody has your knack for lateral thinking and heavy ordnance, Max. See what the switch does. The switch stops the plane. Okay. What did I manage to get? It's a toy bomber. Or a real bomber that just takes tiny warheads. Makes me wish we still had that box of tiny warheads. Not me. That was our best fishing trip ever. Collect all ten. It's one of those infinitely reloading cannons. Is it loaded? Well, yes. It even has the easy light wick. Okay, so... I wonder what the elves have on their office computer. Oh, let's read their email! It's a high score list for Minesweeper. Let's see. Prancer, Wiggles... Shambling corporate presence? How'd that get there? Well, pretty soon it's gonna be all max. Now, how do I start a new game? Sorry, I think it's frozen. Computers and icy arctic wastelands. A bad combination. Okay, so... There's a fair amount of stuff I have to do here. Let's go see about... Oh, well... Hey, it's the North Pole. The magnetic center of the Earth. Magnetism? <laughs> Don't tell me you're one of those kooks. You don't believe in magnetism? It's an interesting theory, but I'm not convinced. Your magnetism is a cute bedtime story, but I believe in one thing. Okay, fine. I guess I can believe in two things, but that's my limit. This must be what Santa uses to send presents. Okay, so I'm out of stock. Um...
Grandma's happy pills. Cougar in a box. That's a pretty small box for a cougar. Yeah, it says some assembly required. Ew. Now we just need to attach a gift tag. Look, gift tags that say from Santa on them. Perfect. They've had a hard time lately getting people to open packages that say from Max on them. You only have yourself to blame for that. It was worth it. Okay, so let's gift tag that. Who's it for? Oh, actually, I can't think of anyone who'd want it. Let the winds of ill fortune carry it to an undeserving recipient, then. Okay, so there'll be people I need to do things with. It's Santa's record player. You think it still works? Since we haven't gone near it yet, I assume so. Torture me, Elmer. It's a Torture Me Elmer doll. Look! He comes with his own breakable spirit and detachable retinas! Oh dear. Oh, toys, whoops. Seeing all these toys kind of makes me wish I was a kid again. If it's any consolation, I still think of you as a child. Thanks. I wish the courts did. What is this gelatinous goo? I don't know, but for once, I don't find myself wanting to eat it. There's a mailing label. To Santa, from Lower Manitoba. And they said Santa never gets gifts. Okay. Flounder Pounder. I wonder why they call this the Flounder Pounder. <laughs> Fine. Around. Bop Buddy. The Bop Buddy Pre Adolescent Aggression Management System. Do I? Do I? Oh, this is the body. Nope. Betty on it. Nope. Okay. I probably need some sort of jar. Let's go over here and see what Santa has to say. Santa's room. Hi, we're collecting guns for tots. Care to make a donation? Okay. Maybe not. Can we go back to somewhere? Where to, Sam? On second thought, let's just stay here. Okay, so I can't leave here. They teach you how to dodge snow. Snowball. I think I'll save my snowball for a more satisfying target. I think I'll save. Let's 
be about the... Soda hey, popper. my snowball melted. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to... Hey, wizard! What? Please forgive us for what we are about to do. Oh, crap! You guys are gonna kill me, aren't you? What? No. Man, you need to relax. Take a deep breath. Let your guard down. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why I'm so tense all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> May not have been productive, but... What are the warning signs of hypothermia? I don't know. And if you find out, don't ruin it for me. <laughs> I want to be surprised about which of my organs shuts down first. So... Any ideas on how to get Santa to come out? Let's burn down the workshop and wait for him to run out. But what do we do if he doesn't come out? I don't know. Try it again? Aren't you freezing? It's not so bad once you get used to it. Are you used to it yet? No, I'm freezing! Let's keep moving. Good idea. I don't want to have to huddle to stay warm. No offense. None taken. I'm not much of a huddler either. Okay, so what do we got here? We got the world's simplest maze, some gift tags, and the boxing Benny, and the gun. Now, shooting the snow going to make a damn bit of difference. We need elf, elf tears for the topiary. We got in Salmon's chimney. Um. I think I need to. Do I need to meet, meet them afterwards? Arcs. Somatic stock. Obsessomatic stockwatch. Start kids' panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Now we just need to attach a gift tag. Um. It's a high score list for Minesweeper. Prancer, Wiggles. It just wouldn't feel like Christmas without the needless destruction of an innocent bystander. Okay, so. Grandma's happy pills. Grandma's happy pills. What's in them? The bottle just says, good boys and girls don't ask grandma a lot of questions about her pills. Let's attach a gift tag. Yeah, but I don't think I have any names to attach to it yet. What unlucky person should we mail this to? See, I think I need Actually, to... I can't think of it. Let the... Go to get, see if we can get their names. Okay. If you say so. Good, we'll keep walking. I think I need to talk to them about their. Hi, guys. Why don't you go inside? We're waiting for the shootout to end. I can respect that. Ow! Okay. So I don't See you later, guys. Where to, Sam? On second thought. Okay. Be 
because I am stuck and there is an in-game option, let's crank up the hint level. So I haven't played this in a while, I don't remember what the things are. It's a topiary planted in a tiny clay pot. It's adorable. I think it might be a warning, Sam. Still adorable. Snow devil. As far as I can go that way. Yes, there is. I showed the elf. I don't think I can send that in the mail. I don't think I can. Okay, let's talk to. Nope. Merry Christmas. Don't remind me. If we don't deal. Filled with good cheer yet, little pal? Up to my jaundiced eyeballs, Sam! Okay. Are those guys elves or space aliens? I think it's one of each. <laughs> I wonder where they keep the giant robots. Right outside our office, apparently. I'm a little concerned about the heavily armed sniper behind door number one. Let's rush him and brave the inevitable hail of bullets! I'm sure he can't take out more than five of us before we break down the door. Actually, I was hoping for an approach where someone survives. Me, for example. Spoil sport. Let's get cracking. The eggnog smell in here is starting to get to me. Merry Christmas, Sam! Um... Now, nah, these guys have gotten good at dodging bullets. <laughs> He's almost cheerful enough to shoot, but not quite. Okay. We've got better things to do than jump around on a trampoline. We do? Not really. We've got better things to do than jump around on a trampoline. Okay. Big gun on... This tube spits out presents. Hey, it's just like me! I wouldn't call those presents, Max. Simple says to Max. Nuh-uh. I don't think I can send that in the mail. Hmm. I don't think I can send that in the mail. Whee! I don't think I can send that in the mail. I didn't think so. Um.
No siree. I bet we could make you cry. Thanks! I've been trying to cry, but I'm just too darn happy! We can fix that. In fact, that's about the only thing we can fix. If you want to make me cry, go ahead! We want to! We want to! Me first! We killed your dog! Oh no! Yep, he or she ran right in front of our car, and well... I tried to draw you a picture, but I ran out of red crayon! Sounds awful, but I don't have a dog. I know. We got him for you. And then we killed him. Feel like crying yet? Was he a good dog? Oh yeah. Well, then at least he's in doggy heaven now. Start crying or I'm gonna dip you in honey barbecue sauce and throw you to a polar bear. Oh goody! I love polar bears! Don't you get it? A polar bear would chop your head off. What? Nothing that cute could be dangerous. Ouch! I didn't think I still had feelings, but there they are. I'll pluck out your eyeballs and use them as Christmas tree ornaments! Oh no! Wait, how am I supposed to cry if I don't have any eyes? We could try it and see what happens. Thanks, but I'd rather keep my eyes. Okay. You don't still believe in Santa Claus, do you? Sure I do. I saw him this morning. Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but, uh, Santa isn't real. He's just make-believe. Like the Black Easter Bunny. Or elves. But I'm an elf. That's what makes this so hard. Wait a second. Are you saying I don't exist? Can you prove that you exist? Well, sure. I, I mean, uh, no. I guess I can't. Ouch. A tough break. <laughs> Surprise! We were lying! Congratulations, you exist. Nice try, but I don't believe in you either. Well, I can't believe he filled up the entire can. Yeah, we must have really terrified the poor guy. Good work, little buddy. Oh, stop! <laughs> now you're gonna make me cry! Okay. So now that we have a watering can and a elf tears. Let's go over this way. And water ourselves a topiary. Conveniently placed Here we go. Hey Sam, give me the rest of those elf tears. I've got a date with an unsuspecting metropolis. Sorry, little buddy. They only work on plants. You win again, Tokyo! Nice. So... Merry Christmas! We come bearing good cheer and high-powered pistols! <laughs> Check the plum fairies! Santa, you okay in there? Ho 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 ho! These hot legs, you little! Ah! 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 They're exorcism instructions. Wicked! I want to do it now! But we don't know anyone who's possessed. Or do we? How do we start? Hey kids, want to silence those inner voices? Do I? No more messy arcane rituals. The My Little Demon playset makes it easy. First, signal the emergence of the demon with the four horsemen of the apocalypse action figures, sold separately. Aww. Ask your parents to help you place the horsemen around a powerful magnetic pole. Roman Polanski? Finally, draw the hell spawn out by singing the friendly demon song, using personal information about your demon. He won't be able to resist. This is gonna be the best Christmas ever! 
Okay, so... I've never seen Santa take his coat off before. Now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever seen you take your coat off either. I haven't. Okay... Where else have I not? Performance reviews for young children. You two again! Hold still while I give you your present! It's either a trip to the zoo, or Santa's gotten remarried. Either way, I can't tell what he sees in there. Yeah, I think you'd need a wider lens. That's too close, or did I just walk too close to him? <gasps> no, walk too close to him. Fair enough. Okay, so I need the fourth horseman of the apocalypse. Um. Okay. Action figures. Let's see what they have to say now. Hi guys. Go along. See you later, guys. Do you have any of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse action figures in stock? Nope! We shipped the last one out this morning. Where? Some wretched block of urban misery. Hey! We live on a wretched block of urban misery! With a diner, an inconvenience store, and a cast of shady ne'er-do-wells? That's the one! Hey... Where did so you send you sent them? the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse to people on our street? Yep! How come we didn't get any presents? We did. We got a giant robot of destruction. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so. Merry Christmas. If you say so. Go back to the street. Where to, Sam? Back to the office. Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. I can go over here now. Two sticky diner. Ah, the smell of desiccated eggs, congealing bacon fat, and rye bread gone awry. It's like Stinky's Diner never closed! Welcome to Stinky's. We never close, except when we're closed. Who are you? I'm Stinky. The Stinky we know was a cantankerous old man who transformed his seething hatred of humanity into a misanthropic smorgasbord of culinary horrors. That does sound like Grandpa. Okay, we're ready for the next round of trivia. And the question is, when did the War of 1812 begin? A. 1812 B. 20,000 years B.C. C. March 3rd, 2004 D. Bangers and Mash Okay. Um, I think he is back, I think. Let's see what we've got here. Lake Titicaca. That can't be real. 
the Philippines. Come for the cockfighting, stay for the chicken. West Dakota, Wizards really made his mark. Rest top every 10 feet. Ricola! Sorry, don't know what came over me. Uh huh. Hey, Stinky, you've got my hit single from the Embarrassing Idol finals. Poison control requires I have it to induce vomiting. That has to just be a regular old tiki torch. Oh, it is just a regular old tiki torch. One that I used to defeat the flesh-eating troubadours of the Philippines. Okay, so let's see what Lincoln and what similar... What could do, Mr. Lincoln? What's shaking, Mr. Ex-President? Hmm? Oh, it's you two. Are you and Sybil dating? A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. That's not what your MySpace page says. Hey, I never friended you. Uh, yeah. The hat. Where's your hat? I'm an enormous stone head. Why should I wear a hat? Cover your enormous stone bald spot? I don't have a bald spot, you little pipsqueak. Are you kidding? It's as big as a Volvo! If that thing's to scale, I'm amazed Booth wasn't blinded by the reflection. Uh... Hey. You seem nervous. Got an itch you can't scratch or something? I'm staying on the lookout for that Ken Burns guy. He will not leave me alone. So, what are you doing here? Sybil said it'd be fun to take part in Stinky's trivia contest. But like the rest of the 21st century, it's really just a confounding mishmash of unfamiliar buzzwords tossed about willy-nilly. Stinky made a game based on my presidential memoirs? <laughs> the trivia contest can't be all that bad. Abe, you're not having a good time? No, no, of course I am, Sybil. The best. <laughs> None of this makes any sense. It's all questions about aeroplanes and electric lights and cell phone transmission specification technology. And that stinky person actually claimed she wrote the Gettysburg Address. If I weren't trying to impress Sybil, I'd headbutt that aqua-haired harlot from here to Harrisburg. So, let's talk trivia. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's not necessary. Abe and I know what we're doing. That's right. We're doing fine. Help me out here, guys. It's A. We think it's A. Hmm. Okay. So long. See you, Al. Represent. And let's see what the bug is doing today. Look, Max. It's our incredible recording bug. Great! I finally managed to get away from my family, and now you two show up! Can a bug just eat a brimstone sandwich in peace? Ah, brimstone. I will feast on your entrails, and devour your soul! What the hell? Why'd you play back that demon recording? I've got a case of PISD, Post-Insecticide Stress Disorder keeps causing these flashbacks. How so? I get a whiff of something familiar, and the memories just come rushing back. Must have been some brimstone in the air during that exorcism. Oh, is that brimstone? This whole time I just assumed you let out a 200-pound fart. No, it was brimstone. Honest. Okay, so... How long have you had this weird flashback disorder? Ever since my company tried and failed to take Hamburger Hill. In Nam? Negative! Hamburger Hill behind the Burger Buddies on West 5th. The place reeked of pheromones. Charlie was using Roach Motels. ROACH MOTELS! <laughs> what are the hey, memories you got recorded? I want to hear him talk like Zombie George Burns. I'll go get some cigars and formaldehyde. Get away from me. I don't want to aggravate my condition. Um... You don't get along with your family? Negative! Except for my dad, they're all a bunch of spineless ladybugs. Aren't all bugs spineless? Not in my regiment. If you didn't have a spine, by God, my dad would make you grow a pair! A pair of spines? That's just the kind of bug he was. Senseless and brutal. Shut up, miss him. 
What happened to him? What happened to your dad? You really want to know? No, not really. It was our toughest battle yet. We secured our positions in a heavily fortified dumpster when suddenly they came out of nowhere. Who? The cleaning crew. Cleaning crew! Attacking with sanitation. That's just plain dirty. <laughs> the smell of bleach was overpowering. Y'all would have gone thorax up if it hadn't been for my dad. I still remember his last words. Move out, maggots. God, he was concise. <laughs> it's me every time. Every time? That sounds like a flashlight. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? That's strictly on a need-to-know basis. We've got clearance from the department of being bigger than you and having guns. Well, what do you think it is, smart guy? We think it's, uh, D. We think it's D. It's Lynn Source, man. Proceed. So long. Sir, so long, sir. Even dangly, dogface. Trivia pad. <laughs> Let's give this trivia question a try. It's 1812. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. We'll start with you, Sybil. I chose A. Of course you did, dear. <laughs> because you're wrong. I also chose A. <laughs> and that's very sweet, Mr. President. But also very wrong. The answer is D. D! Oh, I'm sorry. That is wrong. We also chose A. Sadly, this is a quiz, not an election. It is still wrong. The correct answer was actually... B. B? Liar! Alright, next question. This day of the week comes between Tuesday and Thursday. What is it? A. Doomsday. B. Wednesday. C. Doris Day. D. Menachem Begin. Yeah... Good day, I have to say about the Buddha. That's a lovely looking two headed Buddha. <laughs> Why, thank you. Ram Das gave me that after we won the 35th annual World Enlightenment Dirty Dancing competition together. Okay, a jackalope. Nice jackalope. Robert Redford caught and stuffed it for me when my film won at Sundance. Yeah, she's a fairly big liar by the sounds of it. What's with the hey, door? that looks like one of the four horsemen action figures. Hey, that look. Hey, that look. Uh, let me guess. It's. Are you stinky? If that is your real name. Uh, who are you two again? Sam and Max, freelance police. The real stinky's favorite customers. It says so right on our frequent diner cards. Which conveniently double as organ donor cards. Oh yeah, Sam and Max. Grandpa warned me about you two when he left the restaurant to me. Something about frequent threats of violence and refusal to pay your bill. He remembered us! <laughs> What's going on? There's a lot of people here. It's a trivia contest. It's fun. People get to show off how little they know, and I get to show off how much I know. That doesn't sound like much incentive to play. Shows what you know. Oh, and there's a big prize, too. I'm a yes, it's the... What's the prize for the trivia contest? If anyone wins, they get my ancient heirloom. Sickly man on a horse. Not that anyone's come close to winning yet. <laughs> my sophisticated questions are just too esoteric for these booth monkeys. Booth monkeys? Where? It's just an expression. Okay, so how's business? How's the diner business? Well, it's no Italian villa rendezvous with George Clooney. <laughs> but reopening the family restaurant is very fulfilling. Bringing people closer to obesity-induced ischemic heart disease is its own reward. On the other hand, George is much easier on the eyes. <laughs> and the feet. <laughs> My dogs are barking louder than you, Fido. <laughs> Feet hurt. Standing up all day, getting you down? And how? 
I was made for sending Beachside and Capri, not slinging Hash Counterside for a pack of ingrates. Um... How do you play? It's easy. Just grab a trivia pad, I'll read a question, you write down the answer. I'll review the answers, and then you'll see how much smarter I am than everyone else. You can choose a team if you want. Ooh, ooh, Sam! Pick me! Pick me! Okay, so... We're ready to order, right? We'd like to order something. We're all out. Of what? Whatever you're going to order. That's okay. We just want to order it anyway. All right. We like the tuna sandwich, extra peppers and pop rocks on white bread. So, I need an Al Gore and mariachi pants riding a disco ball. We'd like the sweet and sour saltwater taffy. Sal, Julia Roberts, put a bullet in her brain and kiss her with Andy Rooney. It's like my secret dreams made audible. <laughs> We'll have two yogurts and an open-faced turkey sandwich. Sal, Hubless times two with a side of Brady culture. Uh, the daily special. We'd like the daily special. Sal, Condi Rice, kickboxing the Buddha, Thai style. What's in it? What do you mean, what's in it? Poached eggs with tinfoil. We'll have the poached eggs with tinfoil. Sal, give me the Norse god Thor in a terrarium and spank him. I'd like the double burger baked in biscuit dough. Hold the clams. Half a doppelganger in tight pants, singing solo. Could I get the precious special with hash browns? Sal, two lemony snickets and a Mexican standoff with a prairie dog. We'll have the poached... I've already heard Sal! Uh, I think I've already heard this We'd like the too. tuna sandwich, extra peppers and pop rocks on white bread. Sal, I need an Al Gore and Mary... Yes, I have. That's all. On second thought, I'm on a diet. So long. So long. A gong, an alpenhorn, and some djembes. That's one hell of a jazz trio. Okay, and because I think I can do, do it, we're going to try. Nice. What's the, uh... I can't believe Napoleon ate here. I can. He kept his hand on his stomach to keep from throwing up. That's why. Mother Teresa? Lousy tipper. And Gandhi. Gandhi? Huge fan of our double bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, no. And it's awesome. Stop. Okay. Um... I deal with the yield. Wizard. Wizard was here. Ah, yes. I knew I recognized that odor. Um. Clark Gable. Clark Gable was here. I'm surprised his ears fit through the door. Look who's talking. Ah, uh, stop sight. Borrowed from the corner of Dead Man's Curve and Blind Man's Alley. That's a great looking Viking helmet. It's a memento from singing Wagner's Ring Cycle with Pavarotti. Wow, which part did you sing? Why, the girl's part, of course. The What's the cap from? Well, I don't like to brag, but I wrestled that off a blood-crazed Dick Cheney. Oh, making fun of presidents that shoot people. What can you tell me about this canoe? <laughs> it's a priceless antique. Why is it in a diner and not a museum? I believe it's important to bring a variety of cultures to the unwashed masses. I'm not sure which better describes your food. A variety of cultures or unwashed masses? Is that from a real ship? It is. Mega millionaire Richard Branson gave that to me after I helped him cross the Pacific in record time. Isn't Branson British? Why would he cross the Pacific? To get to the other side, silly. Hey, chicken crossing the road joke. Why is that shark wearing a Hawaiian shirt? Ooh, midlife crisis. He couldn't grow a ponytail. <laughs> snowshoes. Nice snowshoes. Those are the tennis rackets with which I beat Andre Agassi and Pete Sampras. 
Why do they have foot straps? Because I wore the rackets on my feet. <laughs> Tough match. Okay. That mummy case almost looks authentic. Almost? It is authentic. It's the sarcophagus of Prince Peptus Bismuth. Uh, I clicked out of the window. Palm tree. It's made of plastic. Just like everything else from L.A. Uh, yeah. Just what we need. More things to beat. Plastic surgery joke. Okay, I'm going to be back in a second. Um, I forgot to pay, pick up any water here. Um, and I want to grab something to nibble on. Okay, talk to you in a second. Okay, I'm back, and let's get back to Sam and Max. Now, if I remember correctly, this trivia game can repeats. Uh, so, all I have to do is run through it once, and then get all the answers right. Trivia pad. Um, I really don't care. Doris Day. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose B. 
Oh, I love how you keep playing even though you're always wrong. Never lose that. I also chose B. Oh, how cute! You two are like identical twins or something, with your enormous foreheads and your matching wrong answers. The answer is D. D! No, it is not. Not. We chose C. Refreshing. And yet wrong. The answer was one nobody chose. A. What? She's lying. Okay, next. Yes, she Which is. Which of the following women's names is also the name of an herb? A. Napalmet. B. Mary Juanita. C. Rosemary. D. The Pyloric Sphincter. Okay, um, we are going to go and get. I say the Pyloric Sphincter. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose C. Oh, if only C was an option. Wrong. I also chose C. That's wrong, but still a good choice. Some women are intimidated by a man who thinks for himself. The answer is D. D! Negative. We also chose D. Really? Hilarious! <laughs> and again wrong. The answer was one nobody chose. Hey, what? She's lying. Time for a new question. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? A. Grant. B. The Who. C. Abbott and Costello. D. Spam. Okay, so... He's gonna choose D, I think. Um, she's gonna cover his way, so it's gonna be Abbott and Costello or the Um. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose A. Of course you did, dear. <laughs> because you're wrong. I also chose A. <laughs> and that's very sweet, Mr. President. But also very wrong. The answer is D. D! Your persistence is admirable, but wrong. We chose C. Refreshing, and yet wrong. The correct answer was actually... B. B? Liar! New question. What would a doctor use to take your temperature? A. Thermometer. B. Forceps. C. A dull, rusty machete. D. The Queen. Okay, so it's not gonna be the Queen. He's choosing D. I'm gonna choose the dull, rusty machete. Okay, machete. let's hear everyone's answers. I chose A. Of course you did, dear. <laughs> because you're wrong. I also chose A. <laughs> and that's very sweet, Mr. President. But also very wrong. The answer is D. D! That would be right! If it weren't so very wrong. We chose C. Refreshing. And yet wrong. The correct answer was actually... B. E? Liar! Here's a new question. When driving, what does a red light mean? A. God is dead. B. Accelerate. C. Stop. D. William Shakespeare. Okay, so it's not gonna be D because it's too slow. And it's not gonna be star because it's actually what it is. So let's go with accelerate. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose C. Oh, if only C was an option. Wrong. I also chose C. That's wrong, but still a good choice. Some women are intimidated by a man who thinks for himself. The answer is D. D! I do so admire your tenacious D. And yet, you're wrong! We chose B. Did each of you pick an answer and then average it out? Because that is very, very wrong. The answer was one nobody chose. Hey, what? She's lying. Ready for our next question? You have three oranges. I take one orange. How many oranges do you have left? A, six oranges. B, two oranges. C, three and a half oranges. D, false.
Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes! Hook a brother up! No idea. Got it. See you, AL. Want to compare notes on the trivia contest? Yes! Hook a brother up! We think it's C. We think it's C. Thanks for the tip. So long. See you, AL. Represent! So, symbols can answer right. He's gonna answer D. So, he's gonna answer B. He's gonna answer D. He's gonna answer C. That means we answer A. Okay, let's hear everyone's answers. I chose B. That's perfect, because B is for bzzzt. You're wrong. I chose C. Oh, I'm impressed, is what I would say if you were right, <laughs> which you're not. The answer is D. D! Oh, I'm sorry. That is wrong. We chose A. No, that's wrong. Oh... I guess it must be right. Well, congratulations! I'm really annoyed that you won, but I'm far too magnanimous to let it bother me. <laughs> Cheaters. It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Aw, oh, see how he slumps in his saddle? Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler? Blind a toddler? Hmm. Eviscerate? Well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. Okay, so I've got one more Nothing says inconvenience like a full body search before you can buy your candy cigarettes and all day suckers. You have been deemed not unacceptable. Welcome. <gasps> Osco, your disguise. It's. it's. it's hideous. Claw my eyes out, Sam. I can't bear to look at it. Not if I claw my own eyes out first, little buddy. I'm not wearing a disguise. Wow! I forgot how ugly you were without a wig or hat or something. My package! Why no disguise? What, no hilariously inadequate disguise this time? Sam, 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 you poor, naive fool. Don't you realize the time for disguises is past? Yeah, you poor, naive fool. Don't you realize that? Quiet, head knuckle. A disguise could never protect you from... T-H-E-M. Them? You scared me! Who's them? That's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. I'm watching, I'm listening, and I will find T-H-E-M. Well, if you do, tell them... Okay, this is getting old fast. Them. Okay. What's with your store? I'm not sure if you noticed, but this ain't a store no more, man. I haven't noticed anything. Look, I've got a hundred trillion dollars and a thousand of faceless enemies. I don't need to sell anything. Then why keep the place open? I'm a people person. What's with the fancy Dan Scanner, Bosco? Tools are necessary. Tools are the only things that separate us from the animals. That probably plays a little better with the non-dog and rabbit ground. That 
That's why I need the personal antipathy registration annulment and non-negational omnifunctional identification device. That's just paranoid. Technically, yes it is. Uh... Now the store looks, uh, interesting. It ain't a store no more! And did you know people who say that something looks interesting are more likely to be serial killers? More likely than who? Than non-serial killers! It's a fact! A fact they don't want you to know! Who doesn't want me to know? Exactly! My regards to your decorator. Yeah, what's the style? Early colonial conspiracy theorist? No! A theorist is somebody who has a theory! I have conspiracy facts! So, I guess you'd be a conspiracy factist. He's certainly not a cluist. Cause he doesn't have a clue. Yeah, I got it. See, Do you have any bulletproof edible underwear? I don't have anything! This ain't a store! Enough about your store. It's not a... Oh, forget it! Say, Bosco, what's in hey the... guys, does my package sound like it's ticking to you? Not your best pickup line, Bosco. Oh, I don't know. I think my package is the bomb! Now that's a pickup line. Who would send you a bomb? My mother, of course. She sends me one every year around this time. Families need traditions. So why don't you just get rid of it? I built that bomb disposal unit for that very purpose. <coughs> so, why don't you just get rid of it? Because it might be the billion dollar plunger I just ordered. What a dilemma! Just open your package, Bosco. But what if it's the bomb? I thought I heard ticking. You okay? See you, Bosco. What's the periscope for? I'm glad somebody's keeping wary of the inevitable pigeon uprising. Hey, an x-ray machine! Don't fool with that! It's an old photograph enlarger. I wonder if it will enlarge anything else. No, Max, no. Photography equipment for people who've never heard the word digital. Excuse the radio. This is the kind of radio that eats other radios for brunch. Don't fool with that! Now we can finally confirm exactly how many different strains of bacteria live in the pickle relish. Remember, I've still got 163 in the office pool. Everything's stable. Well, except for the proprietor. Theory of everything. Suddenly, it all makes sense. I can't see where we fit into all this, Sam. Oh, I've got a couple of walls upstairs devoted to you two. Uh. Are the high-intensity security lasers to keep us from getting into the bathroom, or to keep something from getting out? Even dark rooms need popsicles. Stay away from my cryogenic freezer. I'll need to put myself in suspended animation once the end times come. If it's a cryogenic freezer, why are there still mustard-covered snow cones in there? Just because I'll be in suspended animation doesn't mean I don't want a snack. <laughs> okay. The bomb be gone. Can we borrow your bomb be gone? There's some obsolete landmines around the office we need to get rid of. No! If I loaned my bomb disposal unit out to everyone in the neighborhood who needed it, I'd never get it back. You know, in this neighborhood, that's actually true. Surveillance fault. Let's see. Bosco spying on his own bathroom, the director from WARP TV, the L train, and. Hey, wait a second! Okay, so. Oh, it's the, uh... Hey! My missing boxing glove! That's my lucky glove, putz! Jimmy Two Teeth, what are you and your unsavory pals doing in the burned-out husk of this robot? 
first rule is, we don't talk about what goes on in the burned out husk of this robot. Hey, me horse! Give it to me. Nothing? Do it! That's my championship trophy, and I want it fair and square! I always thought being shitless and lazy was its own reward. They're giving out trophies now? Boxing championship, wise guy! See ya, suckers! Okay. Let us get a hold of that horse, Jimmy. I don't deal in that stuff anymore. Oh, you mean my boxing trophy? Nothing doing. You want to see my trophy? You've got to come in here and win it from me. We can't fit in there, much less into the ring. <laughs> I don't make the rules, buddy. I just exploit him. Okay, so I have to get inside the robot. i got to get the horse from Bosco. Let's see if we got send a horse from We keep everything filed under S for stuff. <laughs> Flint, show down at Santa's workshop. You in? Sorry, chums. I got a rendezvous with my new client. A lady client? You know it, pal. If things work out, you're looking at one private dick who's gonna end up on the naughty list. Um. Max's entire costume for his nationally televised Salute to America pageant. Highest ratings ever for both the TV networks and the American Psychiatric Association's emergency helpline. Uh -huh. Don't think there's anything. We really sure. should get rid of that VCR, Sam. It eats tapes. So do you, but I don't think about throwing you out with the trash. Often. For very long. Okay, so I don't think there's one up here. Um Okay. Say, Bosco, we'll take that package off your hands for you. Step back, boy! That's mine! Well... Let's see if we can go to the North Pole and get that from... Secret Service van... This way by... Rubble. Part of our neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. I won't rest until our entire neighborhood has been reduced to rubble. I thought that was the bent one. Or the this bent parking one's meter could withstand anything. Ah, parking meters. They're like the cockroaches of architecture. See so what's in the news. Ooh, s and season. It's a shame you don't wear collars, Sam. It says they're coming back in style. Yeah, I don't think we can... Canada sells U.S. to Macroheart Corporation. I wondered why the stock market kept crashing. <laughs> I'm glad this survived the destruction. You're a dog, Sam. Sybil's not here. It's closed. Open 24 hours unless I don't feel like it. Or a giant robot tosses the entire building a city block. Where to, Sam? To the North Pole. We're off to the North Pole. Okay, let's go in and send... 
Frosco something that ticks. Obsessomatic stopwatch. Obsessomatic stopwatch. Start kids panic ulcers early with a constant reminder that they're always running late. You can hear the precious moments of your life passing with every second. Let's attach a gift tag. Yeah, let's attach a gift tag, of course. Who's it for? It's for Bosco. Bosco might like that. That's, uh... See what, um... The... My first moi head, I think, has my to go My first moi Lincoln. head. What can you do with that? I don't know, but the box says it's guaranteed to last for thousands of years. Let's attach a gift tag. <laughs> I think that one has to go Lincoln, but I want to see what it says for that anyway. What unlucky person should we mail this to? To Lincoln. Lincoln might like that. Oh, oh, and... Uh, foot, bath, and piranha aquarium? Foot, bath, and piranha aquarium. Too bad the piranha are sold separately. Let's attach a gift tag. See if we can hit all three. Who's it for? <coughs> this one's for Stinky. Stinky might like that. And then let's go down here. Let's see if I did it right. Sam. Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. So, let's go see if Bosco has Whee! what we need. Howdy, Bosco. I just got a package, and this one's ticking louder than all five of Larry King's pacemakers put together. It's gotta be my mama's bomb. I'm gonna blow it to kingdom come. Now, while he's distracted, Max, grab the package and let's get... Look, Sam! It's the supersized famine figure! With realistic binging and purging action! It's got over 1,700 points of articulation. 250 in the jowls alone! You never were good at waiting to open presents, little buddy. Wait, where's my package? Dear God, they took it! And they took Sam and Max, too! There ain't no place safe! Well, we're just making him more power. That's lovely. Let's go down and see if, uh... Stinky's happy with her feet. Ugh, that foot bath was heavenly. My feet haven't felt that good since that hot oil massage from Barack Obama. It smells like you've got a new item on the menu, too. Now, I can find the strength to keep serving these poor, sweet, spoiled imbeciles. Okay. This smelly old sock could come in handy. Not entirely sure for what. I've... Probably something to do with the uh, 
Exorcism. Hello, Mr. Lincoln. Did you get a gift in the mail? I no longer bother with the mail ever since somebody blew my hands off. Oh, tough break. See you, Al. Okay. So that's not it. Uh, the foot bath and sock, and the other horseman. Um, Where to, <laughs> Sam? Well, we'll go to the North Pole. Off to the North Pole. second. Let's read this again. To exercise the demon, it says we'll need to collect the four horsemen of the apocalypse action figures, Fair place enough. the horsemen around a magnetic pole, yeah. then draw the demon out using the friendly demon song. Uh, there's a record for that that you need to play on the record. Remember correctly, the record is in his room. Let's uh, well, let's go see what we can do about. Correctly, we gotta. We need to run. Just a little. Up the giant turbo here. <coughs> oh, there it is. It's right there. It's an album of satanic Christmas songs. Oh, it includes the smash hit, the Friendly Demon song. I can't think of anything to say right now. <coughs> okay, that's... I'm skin like that. Now. I can't remember what the snowball uh, is for. Those guys elves or space aliens? I think it's one of each. Uh, get to work. Let's get that. cracking. Cougar in a box. That's a pretty small box for a cougar. Yeah, it says some assembly required. Ew. Let's attach a gift tag. Um, yeah. What unlucky person should we mail this to? Lincoln might like that. I think it's the more I had, but I need to just check. I don't remember how to get it to him.
There too, Sam. Back to the office. Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death. I think I'll save my snow. No way. Um. Nothing doing. Oh, I know how to do it. A boxing Betty. Not the robot in it. Box and Betty, please. And it's on! In this corner, with zero victories, 48 defeats, and one draw due to unsportsmanlike conduct with the carving knife, weighing in at 14 ounces, Wally Glass Jaw Puddle Sniffer! And our challenger! Coming direct from the North Pole, weighing in at one pound, 14 ounces without batteries, Oxy Buddy! I have to dodge and click either or punch, or use the keyboard. Ready, fight! Wind up, please. up please and he's out cold and he wins what's this a new opponent hailing from a potato chip bag in the dumpster outside slot mark the rat whose barber didn't know when to stop the pride of the skin bodies Ready, fight! Do the same. Left jab!
That had to hurt! Okay, so... Left hook! Right! That's how this one works. Left hook! That had to hurt! Probably do better with a keyboard on this, but Buddy blow. Okay, this is Let's stop doing that. Right jab. Give me two, give me two teeth. For a final match in this corner, direct from the hole in the wall of Sam Max's office, weighing in at 113 ounces, or 12 ounces without the lucky glove, our defending champion, Jimmy Tutti! Ready, fight! Feeling I'm have to go that way. Telegraph your movements, please, Tim. Jimmy. All right. All right, child. What power? Left hook. Damn it. Right hook. Ouch. Knock him out. Attention. Five different trigger yet. Left hook and Jimmy goes down. Boxing Benny is the new champion. It's the super exclusive war action figure with extra. Hmm, there are pieces missing. I don't see the weapons of mass destruction. Who needs them? How could I lose? I'm no expert, Jimmy, but I bet being a loser helped. You're, you're right. I, I, I can't go on like this. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, nice going, Max. Now see what you've done? Jimmy's gonna off himself. Huh. I always thought guys appreciated a bracing, candid reality check. Your suicide causation rate suggests otherwise. I'm gonna do it. I'll jump, I tell you. Hang on a second, Jimmy. Jimmy, this isn't like you. What do you mean? You're not the suicidal type. You don't have the guts. Or the follow-through. Wrong! It's always darkest before the dawn, Jimmy. What the hell does that even mean? Give it up, Steve. Oh, you're right. If somebody as dim as you can tell I'm just phoning it in, why bother? Uh, smile. Turn that frown upside down. It nonsense ain't helping. Sorry, Jimmy. It's just that suicide is too horrible for me to even contemplate. 
Even though we'd all be happier if you were dead. Think of your loved one. You know, your wife's gonna give you hell if you kill yourself. Mary? He left me! You're overreacting, Jimmy. You think? Sure. Your wife probably never really loved you in the first place. Okay, let's go over to Max. Happy jump, can I have your stuff? Like what? I ain't got nothing. Don't say that! Your pelt looks like it'd make a great pair of ear warmers. Wouldn't you rather die by my hand? I guess it'd be faster and better to get taken out by a friend. You are my friend, right, Max? Hmm, I wonder what I could use to do the job. The Luger? A nine iron? You're not even listening to me, are you? Of course I am, Sam. Go on! Try to laugh. Hey, when you jump, try to hit somebody annoying on the way down. Like one of those soda poppers. Which one's the incontinent one again? I couldn't tell you. Boy, you really are useless, aren't you? After you jump, can I have your stuff? Like what? I ain't got nothing. Don't say that. Your pelt looks like it'd make a great pick. Okay, so... Up on the bright side. No wife, no family, no job. What bright side? Well, with all the brain damage you got from boxing, you'd make a great vacant-eyed janitor. And nuts. My boxing career didn't even last long enough to give me a decent case of brain damage. Um, Max, I don't think this is helping. I disagree, Sam. I feel much better about myself already. Um. Being hit with a bleach snowball at this range could cause permanent blood. And? I usually. It's going to melt soon enough, so I can hear. I think it's too big for him. Jimmy, care to try out a maze? No way! I ain't falling for that! Fair enough, let's just shoot him then. No, Jimmy's going to have to do this for himself. Got three of them. Where is the fourth? Civil's office, and I have to break up. Um, let me just put on a hi hiatus. Lincoln and Civil. Actually, I haven't talked to Civil, have I? Hey, Civil. Oh, hey there, Sam and Max. What was all that commotion outside? It's a little urban renewal project that got out of hand. By the way, didn't you tell us that you wished your office was closer to a good restaurant? That's right. Why? No reason. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you and Abe on a date? Well, if you want to call it that. What if I wanted to call it the unspeakable obscenity from beyond space, cackling on the threshold of utter madness? I think I'd prefer date. How are things, babe? Think there'll be more dates in your future? Who knows? I'm no fortune teller, but... Oh, wait a minute. I was a fortune teller! Or wait, was I a sports therapist? Were the balls crystal or merely inflamed? <laughs> are you still the Queen of Canada? Hardly. I thought they'd be happy when I annexed the U.S. But all they did was complain. They were all faltering dollar this, and pernicious crime rate that, and unwieldy and inefficient healthcare system. Moan, moan, moan. I didn't think Canadians ever complained. 
He did it in that really polite, passive-aggressive way that just made it worse. <laughs> See you, Sybil. <coughs> I think Hello, I can ship Mr. things Lincoln. to Sybil now. Did you get a gift in the mail? I no longer bother with... Oh, tough breath. Okay, so... See you, Ale. Represent. Maybe if I send the Moi to, uh... To, uh, Sybil. Where to, Sam? Ah, uh, the North Pole. We're off to the North Pole. Let's double click here so he runs over there. Make this a little bit faster because he slows down to a walk once I actually click on something. Just mm. mm. spider there, but that's okay. Um. Fine. I want to see about the Moy head. My first Moy head. My first Moy head. What can you do with that? I don't know, but the box says it's guaranteed to last for thousands of years. Let's attach a gift tag. And can I send it to Sybil? Who's it for? I can send it to Sybil. Oh. Sybil might like that. Sam? We are going back to the office. Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Let's go see if we can have a little screwing with the Sybil and Lincoln's Love life. Hey, Sybil. Did you get a gift in the mail? No. Who needs mail when I've got my Abe? Ah, how sickening. See ya, Sybil. Okay. Hello, sir. Ah. Oh, I thought you were my family. They always try to surprise me on my birthday. Did someone say birthday? <laughs> that was weird. Just a little. What other memories you got recorded? Here, smell this. Get away from me. I don't want to aggravate my condition. Okay, that's what that's for. So, so long. Sir, so long, sir. Sock with hey, bug. Hey, bug, get a load of this stinky sock. Get away from me. I don't want to aggravate my condition. Let's use a sock. Can't use a sock on sandwich. Being hit with a bleach snowball at this range could cause permanent blind. And? I usually draw the. Um. No siree.
think I have to, if I had the music up. Some of the other songs. <coughs> Teddy Bear song. Um, how? How? I couldn't use uh, Bosco, could I? Hey, that looks like one of the four horsemen action figures. Yeah, the one I stole from him already. Fool with that. Photography equipment for people who've larger this game or next one. I don't think there's anything here, but we'll try. So, let's go and play Wacky Rats. Okay. That's not... Again! Again! Yeah, I'm going to. I think don't think there's anything I can win from this. No prize, oh well. Essential for interrogating perps and telling spooky ghost stories. Good morning, angels. For your next case, you'll have to go undercover, deep undercover, as queens of the roller rink. Puzzly will have all the details. Good luck, angels, and knock them dead. I gotta stop moonlighting. <laughs> Max chatting with the former president before violently decapitating it. Our ride photo from Hugh Bliss's roller coaster. Max just couldn't resist flashing the camera. Uh, oh. The Prismatology Blistacular Shade a Month calendar. This month is fabulous! Okay. I can't reach Jimmy from here. We'll have to talk to him from downstairs. I 
think I can... Put that. I'm gonna do it! I'll jump, I tell ya! Hang on a second, Jimmy. You know, your wife's gonna give you hell if... Mary? You... You think? Sure. You... Max, I don't think this is helping. I disagree, Sam. I feel much better about myself already. Being hit with a bleach snowball. And? I usually drop. I think it's too big for him. <coughs> nah, he'd just try to fence it and get a lousy price. Sam. Powerful. We're off to the North Pole. Ignore the server poppers. Here that I can steal or otherwise take or listen. Even to. when toys were made of wood, this would have been a disappointment. Try guillotine. Toy Marie Antoinette sold separately. Um. Hmm. This tube spits out presents. If I got a cougar in a box. Cougar in a box. That's a pretty small box for a cougar. Yeah, it says some assembly required. Ew. Let's attach a gift tag. And... What unlucky person should we mail this to? Do I have the ability? Uh... Actually, I can't think of anyone who'd want it. Let the winds of ill fortune carry it to an undeserving recipient, then. I need to get Jimmy down. Go for it, Max. The wall has a barrel thing. She's interesting. What do they have to say now, if anything? Hi, guy. Why don't you go inside? We're waiting for the shootout to end. I can respect that. How? Okay. See you later, guy. Where to, Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. Uh, there's another one, and I don't remember how to get it.
Well, maybe she'll serve people now. We'd like to order something. Right. We'd like the daily special. Sal, Condi Rice, Kickboxing the Buddha, Thai style. What's in it? What do you mean, what's in it? Okay, that's all. On second thought, I'm on a diet. So long. Well, maybe I can. I don't think I can send that in the mail. Okay, so I can't gift him. No fee. Being hit with a bleach snowball. And? I usually... Okay. Being hit with a bleach snowball. And? I usually... Um... Hello, sir. Did that trigger something? What happened to your dad again? Taken out by a cleaning crew. I still remember his last words. Move out, maggots! <laughs> um... What other memories you got recorded? Here, smell this! Get away from me! I don't want to aggravate my condition. What happened to your... Taken out? I still... <laughs> sir, so long, sir! Keep him dangly, dog face! Okay, so it is time to go and uh, check up on it. Let's see what we can find here for a station Santa. I want a uh, fair enough. There is no spoiler-free one, but that's okay. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm missing something entirely. That's why. Destined meeting of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society? The cops are obsolete no longer! Welcome to the grand opening of Pimp Le Car! We offer secure upgrades to a very exclusive clientele. How exclusive? Go on! What was here before you opened this body shop? A string of unsuccessful body shops. What makes you think you will have better luck? A recent influx of road debris will result in the projected 6-4% increase in revenue. Road debris? From the main trunk? No! A shipping mishap from the North Pole has resulted in a glut of unwanted torture me Elmerdal. Destroy them all! What have you got against Torture Me Elmer? My associates were once the most popular toys available, but no more. Beating up a doll cannot compare with the wonder and the excitement of arithmetic and grammar. Uh-oh, Max. 
I think the cops may have been educational tours. I knew there was a reason I didn't like them! Okay, just hold on a second. Let's bring these up again so I can see them. So, do you know anything about cars? If we didn't, why would we open a car shop? Because you're lonely, forgotten machines who do anything to feel useful? Processing. Oh dear. Import appears valid. I just had a breakthrough! This is all about my dad! We'd like to pimp our car. Please make a selection from the following menu. If you'd like the exclusive Death Horseman hood ornament, press 1 now. And what else? That is all we have. There was an ordering malfunction. Totally not my fault! Actually, we also offer a wide range of completely worthless decorative decals. See, What's this about decals? decorative decals? We can outfit your ride with a wide assortment of decorative embellishments created by our in-house auto detailing artist. How does he do that? His mother was a label maker. Simply hit the streets and obliterate rare objects. If we deem them suitably interesting, we will reward you with a decal to commemorate the joyous destruction. Now that's my kind of game. What should we be obliterating? That is for you to determine. Okay. We'll take that Death Horseman hood ornament. Excellent. First, however, you must complete the Pimpler Car Driving Challenge. Oh, just give us the horse. Where is the fun in that? We've pulled together our years of experience in designing the most advanced computer games to bring you the ultimate augmented reality driving experience. Augmented reality? Yes. While you were looking, we placed a pair of our patented augmented reality goggles in your vehicle. You did? Through the miracle of augmented reality, your driving experience will be five to ten times more satisfying than ever before. Would you like to try the driving challenge now? Yes, please. And how? Eat my dust. Initiating augmented reality driving sequence. to the Pimpler Car Driving Challenge. Thanks to advances in nanotechnology and the dark arts, you can now drive using a computer keyboard in addition to your mouse. I'm really excited! Your mission is to hit the display number of torture and Elmer dolls. And you must do it in the allotted time. Just go already! Ready? than I expected no to be. Excellent! Please accept this exclusive hood ornament with our compliment. You're totally adequate! Look, Max. It's the sudden unexpected death figurine with super reaping action. Now, wherever we drive, pedestrians will feel the icy chill of death. More so than usual. Okay, so... Sam? Never mind. Let's, Let's just stay here. Ah, you never take me anywhere. I just took you to the North Pole. Oh, yeah. And I want the Horseman of Death symbol first. <laughs> it's icy cold. 
I should now be able to... Where to, Sam? To the North Pole. We're off to the North Pole. Okay, um, let's go and put our next person. Doing. Can we start the exorcism now? Nope, we still need three more horsemen. Let's hurry! I've got a sudden, inexplicable craving for pea soup! That would be the, f the uh, famine one. The horseman of pestilence. I hope this demon appreciates all the work we're going through. I just hope he doesn't rip our lungs out and eat them in front of us. That's kind of what I meant. Okay. War. I can't wait till we finally exercise this bastard and put the video up on YouTube. We'll have to. We still need one more horseman. And I have it. That's the last one. Now we just have to sing the incantation. We have to. If we want to save Santa the season of giving and possibly the entire Earth as we know it, yes. Still hardly seems worth it. Let's put on the friendly demon song. Like gelatinous goo. He was the most unholy creature that was ever born. Ever born. Ever In Lower Manitoba. We know that already. And the other demon was scared to let him join the game. The game. The game. The game. Like Minesweeper. And if you want to meet him, you just have to shout his name. His name. His name. Hey, shambling corporate presence. It worked! The power of Christmas compels you! Any second now, Santa's gonna walk out that door demon-free and shower us with gifts like an absentee dad with a guilty conscience. Did it work? <laughs> Wait, he... You mean... But I, I, I thought... But I thought... He, huh? What? No! I quit! I'm gonna be a dentist! <laughs> Any snobby dog, baby. What? Nothing? Didn't you guys read the back of the instructions? Is it back? <laughs> ah! Very important. Make sure you have the spirits of Christmas to contain the beast, or you're screwed. Salmon Knox! It's up to you to save Christmas! Yep, we're screwed. Okay. It's what we get for not reading the back of the instructions. I've forgotten it's in one of the L was in one of the L's. I think he can actually go in his door, but we'll go up this way. Really creepy. Let's see what's in Santa's safe. Who dares to?
to disturb our... Oh, it's you. You know us? We know all those who have ever ruined Christmas. Especially the repeat offenders. Who are you guys? In the spirit of Christmas past, brothers. I am the spirit of Christmas present! And that cat's the spirit of Christmas yet to come. He's shy! What's your 20, good buddies? We could use some help saving Christmas. You're not bad people. We've just had bad luck with major holidays. And automobiles. And federal statutes. It is your own selfish actions that have brought this to pass. Selfish? We're freelance police. We save the world, sometimes on purpose. You got no clue the bad karma you've built up, man. You will need the combined help of all three of us to defeat the demon. We will show you three Christmases you've ruined. Set them right, and we will consent to help you. Where are you going? I have to get some air! That safe reeks of weed and dilithium crystals. <laughs> Past and future. Okay. Let's go through the stocking stuffer. If we put in a sock, the stocking stuffer will fill it with whatever the owner deserves. You think oh. Bingus Kong wore socks? And if so, where is he buried? It's me. So I have a sock. Let's see what Stinky's getting from Santa this year. It's full of coal. That's what you get for lying all the time. What do you think you get for reckless disregard for public safety? In my case, I got to be president. Okay, so... portals um what do i have to do with jimmy i think i need to change his path um Yourselves for a journey beyond imagination as we enter the present. We'll try this one first. Sam and Max, witness how your reckless carelessness hurts hey, those. Wait who... a second! This isn't the present! You took us to the past. Past us are standing right there. I know that! Just give it a minute to catch up. It's the limited edition pestilence maquette with super detailed open sores. Aw, oh, see how he slumps in his saddle. Does he have any cool action features? Cut it out, Max. You don't know what that'll do. What's the worst a toy could do? Choke a toddler, blind a toddler, hmm, eviscerate? Well, it looks like nothing happened anyway. Let's go. Oh, no. Seriously, we had a totally boss bug summoning toy and we wasted it on a stupid exorcism. Teen hut! Map 2, Sergeant. What? How did you stink bugs find me? This place is great! Baby brother too good to share with his family? Too good to break radio silence and call his mother anyway! Been on important missions, ma'am. Been hanging out with those filthy dung beetles, more likely. They don't even speak our language! As long as my family's together again, I'm never leaving! Mayday! Mayday! Request immediate evac! Immediate evac! So what, we have to rekindle the bug's love for his family? Teach him what they really mean to him? Oh my, no. Have you seen them? They're awful! You have to get rid of them! Oh boy! I'll go get my stomping boots! Non-violently! Damn! <laughs> uh, what have we got? Gun? Let's try... that. Cleaning crews on all sides! Father, it is you! The butterflies are pinned down! Move out, maggots! Sir, yes, sir! Company, march! 
What in tarnation? My family! They've retreated! It's a miracle! A miracle! Well done. <clears throat> now, let us return to the present! A bleach filled cat snowball. I must admit your repentance was acceptable. I suppose I can help you after all. Forget that! You gotta send me back! I wasn't done haunting people yet! Oh, Matt! You and Sam will be dead soon enough. I'll wait in this bottle until you're prepared to release all three of us to smite the demon. We're really feeling the Christmas spirit now, eh, Max? You bet! I'm excited, disappointed, over-socialized, and more than a little gassy. You cats ready to take a freaky trip to the past? You bet! I want to rub my body all over Mary Curie. And see if you'll glow in the dark? That'd be neat, too. What? Man, we ain't going back that far, though. Jump in. Here we are in your office in the not too distant past. I remember this. This is when we had to retrieve the Toy Mafia's meatball sandwich that Leonard tried to fence to Jimmy. Do we get to beat up Leonard some more? No way, Max. These cats can't sense your presence in any way, Dig? You are here to right a terrible wrong you once committed. We have to stop ourselves from doing yo mama jokes? Just watch. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Well, Jimmy, where's this big score that's gonna change everything? Where's all the money that's gonna save our dear Tiny Timmy? Yes, Daddy. Where the f*** is it? Oh, it's hopeless. The doctors say his Tourette's Syndrome will kill him if they don't operate soon. Don't cry, Mommy. I'll get the f*** with the f the f f angels. It's all a bust, Mary. Every time I try to make an honest living, Sam and Max smack me down. Ah, uh, sh Jimmy, we were all counting on you. I know, Mary, I know! If only I'd have stuck to boxing, I could have been somebody! Instead of being a rat, which is what I am. So get your lucky boxing glove and go fight! I... I don't have it no more! Sam and Max took it! Again with Sam and Max! If you'd spend more time boxing and less time sitting around watching TV, you'd be champ! Face it, Jimmy, you're a washout! Please don't fight Mommy and Daddy. Daddy's my hero, and he'll make everything right again. You'll see, you f***ing hoes. You'll see, you f***ing hoes. Oh, you f***ing Oh, you'll see, you'll see, Oh, my God. I'll go call the doctor to ease his suffering. Just get that glove, Jimmy. Our baby doesn't have much time to live. Okay, I gotta bring these back up. You see what you gotta do. Eat up Leonard some more? <sighs> okay, so... Jimmy, stop sitting around and get that glove. She can't leave if the maze is here. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Two Teeth. We got you the one gift every rat loves. An impossible maze. Come and get it! Go and uh, fill up the boiler. Look, Sam! I guess this leads to some dystopian future Christmas. You say that about everything. But this time I'm right.
Wow, the future is hot. And so am I, Sam. Seriously, check future me out. Smoking! Well, Max, unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! <laughs> Somebody help! Spirit, why would you show us this if we were powerless to change our snackless fate? Surely we can alter these shadows before us, perhaps with a larger, economy-sized bag of pork rinds, or chips. Or you know, Max, we could find a way to get our future selves out of this place. Yeah, I guess that'd work. Okay, come over to the boiler. There we go. One Santa sleigh fueled and ready for takeoff. Great! Now we can finally bomb Auckland. I was thinking we could use it to save our future selves. Right! In a preemptive strike against the vengeful Kiwis. Get in the sleigh, Buckethead. By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh. What an unexpected stroke of luck! Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Shake that thing! Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. I'm gonna miss that sexy beast and his fat tub of lard sidekick. Hey, you could stand to lose a few yourself, smart guy. Come on, top well, we one. saved Christmas for our future selves. Is that all? I guess that means he'll help us take care of our demon problem. What's he going to do? Give him the silent treatment? No! Stop! Please! Never underestimate the power of passive aggression, Max. <laughs> okay, so I need a boxing... the boxing glove for... Where to, Sam? Back to the office. Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Okay, so I need to go over here. I want to go over to my office. We need to get Jimmy to get teeth down. Let's see. Rat hole. We never should have let that deadbeat Jimmy Two Teeth sublet. Second, let me check something. Oh, where to, Sam? Oh, I've got to go back to the past. Come over there and go into the 
portals in the past. Look alive, Cheech. We want to go back in time again. Lead on, brother. Okay, we gotta turn on the television. Jimmy, if you don't turn off your TV, I'm going to... Hey, where am I? It's hopeless. There's no way out. Don't say that, Mary. We can work it out, I... Mary? She left me. Now I'll never see her again. That... I know, son. I know. Okay, so... So what do we have to do? Can't you rock the signal these cats are sending you, man? The ailing child. The nagging old lady. The boxer who lost his mojo. Ah! Rat tracks! No! You gotta get him back in the ring, man. Not what I intend to do. Well, that's what I do intend to do, but that's not what I intend to do. Okay. Uh, again, we need these up. No, he, he did leave him. It's just, and I didn't need another snowball. It's just, I Where need to, him to leave. Sam? Let's head back to civilization, or what's left of it. Good thinking. We can always freeze to death out here later. Using Jimmy two teeth. Jimmy? Jimmy, what are you doing? Mary? Mary, is that you? Mary! <coughs> don't, don't go anywhere! I'll be right down! No, Jimmy! Don't do it! Oh, I. I, I thought you were gonna jump! What? I don't talk crazy. I'd never do that, especially not with my best girl here. Gee, Sam, I, I think I got something in my eye. Don't pick at it, Max. It's too hard to get back in the socket. Jimmy, I don't know how I got here, but I'm sorry for all the things I said. Don't worry, baby. Now that you're back in my life, nothing can stop me now. I'm unbeatable. Thanks for the glove, Jimmy. I'm feeling full of the Christmas spirit already. Yay, so... Hey, my snowball melted. That's fine, I didn't need it. Sam. To the North Pole. We're off to the North Pole. here and boxing glove and Jimmy 2D. Happy holidays, Jimmy. Hey! Who threw that? What? Could it be true? Timmy, look! It's your pa's lucky boxing glove. Where the f did that come from, Daddy? I don't know, son. All I know is I finally got a second chance. It's a Christmas miracle! I ain't never letting this thing out of my sight again! Now come on, son! Your dad's gonna go punch out some bums and get you that operation! God f***ed us! Everyone! Way to go, dudes! You saved Christmas past. So let's groove on back to the present. And four, good buddy! Yeah, it'll never leave his sight until I kick him. And steal it. Sam and Max, 
Max. You made up for your past and helped Jimmy find his way. Now, for your reward. Non-sequential serial numbers, please. I'm just gonna <laughs> chill in this bar until you're ready to unleash all three of us cats on that fascist demon. Sally! Nope. We are all three. Spirit bottle on the shambling corporate presence. I'll get the car started in case this doesn't work. Eros! Aimless spirit! Tune out those bad vibes of destruction and get with the spirit of peace, man. Reject violence and anger and embrace the love and brotherhood of the season! Bummer. Well, we tried. <clears throat> get him. Santa, you can come down now, man. That's about it for us. Happy New Year, everybody. Well, I hope you boys have learned your lesson. It was a series of honest mistakes, Santa. Keep us on the nice list and nobody has to see this videotape of you wetting yourself and screaming like a campfire girl. <laughs> you rapscallions, run along to bed, both of you. Ready for visions of sugar plums to dance in your head, little buddy? It'd be better than the night terrors. Ho ho ho! Jello! Sinful. Santa, no! Don't eat the jello! <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. We've got to take out Evil Santa again? Okay, so what we need to do here is that's already in place. Nope. If we're going that's to attack Santa, to do. I think we'll need to do it from here. Long range violence is so impersonal. New present, good. I believe I need that. Uh, big gun on the cannon. Then, then we bomb cannon. Then shoot the cannon again. Say it at the right time. Oh dear. Now what? Poke holes in the box and keep him? Please! Great news, Sam and Max! The demon didn't get us! Oh. Why won't you guys just die? Now it's time we sent this demon back where he belongs! Under an unsuspecting child's bed? No, look at the mailing label. Somebody messed up. It wasn't supposed to go to Santa. It was supposed to go to Satan. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I, I get it. I see what you mean. <clears throat> Everybody, it's almost done. What are you standing around for? We all get to pull together and save Christmas for the kids of the world! I can do the wrapping! I can do the labels! I can do the urinating! But who could possibly deliver all the toys in time? Godspeed, Sam and Max! Merry Christmas! Good luck! Drink plenty of liquids! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Say, Max, 
you think we should have waited for them to load the presents before we drove off? What's the rush, Sam? It's the middle of November! Uh, the middle of November was when it released. There should be some music with this. Apparently not. But that's the end of uh, episode one. Ice Station Santa. Our next episode is going to be uh, episode two of season two. And it's called Moy Better Blues. I'm actually, oh, it's because the music is turned down. That's why. It, uh, I would have had to turn the music up. That's why there's no music now. So we'll wait for the, um, the credits to finish rolling, and then we will go and, uh, I will see about switching over. Oh, I've got the second episode to do, so I've got a, another probably three hours, at least. Yeah, I really wish I'd remembered to turn the sound back up, the music back up, but you know, only can live with that. Maybe it'll keep me from getting a, a uh, copyright request claim. And as soon as it comes back, which it looks like it might be crashing, yeah, it's crashed. That's fine. You can close it. I will be back in a minute while I set up the uh, the other one. Okay. Talk to you in a bit.
Okay, I'm just going to stop the stream and start the stream again so it picks up the new uh, title. And I will be back in a second.